darlings, it's Mummy, Sybil Brunchen, and I'm coming to you live from Fire Island. Darlings, it, 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 for those of you that don't know what Fire Island is, or for those of you that are just tuning in and uh, have never even heard of Fire Island, um, instead of asking me questions like, well, why couldn't you get out here sooner? By the way, it's June 7th, um, and uh, Mummy is out on the island. Uh, instead of asking all these questions about, well, why weren't you able to come out earlier this season? You know, how did the, the COVID crisis and the, and the quarantining interfere with you coming out? Um, first of all, look up Google and Wikipedia things that you don't know that I'm referring to. So if you look up Fire Island on uh, Wikipedia or Google and look at the map, you'll see that it's an island that's 37 miles long and only a couple of hundred yards wide. So it's really, it's not as pencil. It's, it's shaped more like a strand of spaghetti off the south coast of Long Island here in New York. And you have to take trains along Long Island, and then you get off at a certain town on Long Island, and then you hop in a taxi cab to go to the pier, and then you get on a little ferry that takes you across the, the bay, and then it brings you to a corresponding little townlet on Fire Island. There are almost no cars here. There's almost no vehicles on this island. It's mostly just boardwalks. And um, the only vehicles in each of the towns, there's 17 towns altogether, um, are little golf cart fire <laughs> trucks. The fire trucks are basically golf carts um, with pumper uh, attachments and everything on them. They're, they're bigger than a golf cart, but still. Um, it's only the towns at each tip of Fire Island that really have access to bridges and to cars. You're not allowed to drive on the beach unless you have a special permit, and you have to get a, you have to get a special permit either as an emergency vehicle or a construction uh, worker vehicle, servicing plumbing and uh, c you know construction. Anyway, back to this. Uh, a year ago today, uh, I had already been been on Fire Island for an entire two months. We usually come out at the beginning of April, but of course, because of the COVID crisis, um, first of all, they weren't even running ferries very much. And even now it's a limited uh, ferry schedule um, and very few people are out here. You could see the beach. I mean, last year, this, Fire Island never looks like Coney Island, but this is, this is what the beach looks like normally in, in late September um, when the season is coming to an end. Uh, Speaking of which, I don't know what's going on, but Mother Nature seems to um, be aware of the COVID crisis because it is like a ch it's chilly out here today. So it's between the wind and the angle of the sun and everything. It feels like it's September 25th as opposed to the beginning of June. Um, it's, it's an amazing phenomenon. Uh, climate-wise this year, uh, meteorolo meteorologically. Um, it, it's like spring delayed its appearance in coordination with the quarantine. Um, usually these houses are all occupied, they're all rented. Uh, that pool is definitely open, but there's no one out there. And you can see that there's very few people out here. It is absolutely gorgeous though, really gorgeous. Um, and I'm going to give you a tour in just a little bit of my garden. Uh, as I found it, um, for those of you who are fellow gardeners and always like Mummy's uh, updates on her garden. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. Um, beginning of June in the year 2020 is much more uh, feeling and looking like uh, the end of September. Uh, I, I wish we could do a temperature right now, but it's like, it's about 73 degrees or something out here. Anyway, it's very pretty and the breeze is beautiful. And uh, it not only is very Fire Island, there's a Provincetown uh, Cape Cod feel to the day too. All right, I hope your day is going beautifully. If he's finding beach grass, I'm gonna go over and scratch him very badly. Oh, I really should hit the beach. You know, with so few people, there's probably beach glass again. And you know how mommy adores really beautiful beach glass. All right, I will talk to you all very soon.